welcome back now this is a new series in PHP programming now I'm going to teach you how to develop a web based uh, application now what I mean by that is dynamic website the first thing we're going to cover in this lesson is the kind of tools that we'll be needing to actually benefit from uh, these courses first of all you can write PHP in virtually any um, word processor or okay so you can use uh, WordPad or you can use Notepad as well to write uh, PHP as a PHP script on right click with a mouse go to new and then click on text file and then call it uh, my first PHP you can call it anything you like open it up so it opens up in notepad and then you can write your very first um, PHP um, code hello okay so that's your very first uh, PHP script you could just do that straight away now I will recommend for you a, uh, a tool to use instead of using notepad and so on let me just delete that quickly drag it to the recycling bin I will recommend for you something called text editor this is pretty much one of the best ones out there which is free okay it's not an integrated uh, application or integrated development environment uh, okay so if we're gonna do a form we're not gonna use uh, front page or Dreamweaver to create the form or anything like that we're gonna write in uh, the HTML coding for for that okay so let's get so first of all like I said text editor as a good uh, editor for PHP and uh, you can actually save the files here you can actually uh, well let's write the code here for example let's write a quick code um, echo hello world I'll explain all the code what it means later on and we could just say save as and here is very interesting uh, what it does, we're going to save it onto the desktop so we can actually see it appearing here. And um, we're going to say my first PHP, and what we're going to click on save as type, and then you can actually select the type of format that we can save it as. As you can see here, we can save it as C program. Uh, in, in the C um, course that we did, we used Magic C. If you if you recall the compiler, we use Magic C. So here you can actually save it as HTML, ASP, PHP, PHP3, SHTML, PHTML. So much you can save it as Java. You can J J JavaScript, Cascaded Style Sheet, CSS. So it's it's very interesting what we can use this editor for. It's it's a multi-purpose um, editor in this case we're gonna save it as PHP so we're gonna click on that and we're gonna put the extension dot PHP at the end here okay and we just click on save and it does it for us here okay you can see it just there yep and if we just put our mouse over it like that okay so there it is okay we can open it up and it opens up in notepad normally or we can change the the, the, the actual editor that we're going to use so we click on properties here and um, just to let you know I clicked on the right button of the mouse to bring that menu up if you don't if you don't actually know this and then clicked on properties and then can change it from here and then I can say browse to change the program and we've used text editor we want to start editing um, PHP applications in text editor so there's text editor there so we click on that and we say OK so now it's, it's, it's using the text editor as you can see it's changed to the T if I click on that now it should just open up in here and the next thing I'm just going to empty the recycling bin quickly so yeah OK right next thing we're going to use in, in this course is Qt FTP Qt FTP you can download it uh, by going to the internet first of all let's go to the browser quickly now in download.com you can download Qt FTP you can download pretty much any 
uh, you could download Magic C as well. So let's look for Qt FTP. If we click enter, Qt FTP, Qt FTP. It says Qt FTP Home Edition. Okay, you can download the Professional Edition as well. Here you go. Right. So you download one or the other. Okay. And once they, one of them expires and you want to continue using it, download the other version and basically install that up on your computer again and use it again so in total you can make use of this program for 60 days 30 days on the home edition 30 days on the professional edition so you you'll make use of that program which we're gonna use in this course now what I mean by FTP if you haven't looked at any of my courses before FTP stands for file transfer protocol it's a, it's a protocol that we use to transfer files to the remote server on the internet remote server means where your domain is based where uh, your website is, is located okay so it's the home where your website files are, are located okay so we use FTP the, that protocol to transfer those uh, files across to the server okay so that's uh, FTP out of the way you download it you install it on your computer and you open it up okay let's have a look at Qt FTP let's open it from here continue I've only got five days left right and then you, you, the first time you um, install the program it will ask you to set up your uh, domain okay now if you've got a website you can then simply enter the host address the username and your password and click connect and it connects to the server straight away but in my case I've already pre-configured it and it just logs into my server here so and I've got a few websites here now for this course umacom.com which is con currently under construction but for the moment I've emptied the, the server uh, the domain name and I'm going to use it purely for training and uh, I'm going to create another s folder for you uh, right cl I clicked on right click just to make you aware I clicked on right click and it brought this menu and I just click on new folder and I'm going to type lessons okay let's call it PHP lessons PHP lessons okay so it will create a folder in a, in a minute okay so it's created that folder so what I'm going to do I'm going to put um, every every time we do a lesson I'm gonna put it up here we're gonna test it on the server as well so you can actually see it running okay now how do you get a domain name you I hear you ask okay very simply when we go here go to internet browser and just type umacom hosting dot com and here we go that's our um, packages I've kind of given you a quick introduction before on the packages and I told you that this is the most appropriate package that we have on because it has a uh, MySQL database that allows you to set up 20 MySQL databases which is more than ample you only need one but we're giving you 20 okay as well as you can have three website addresses on on this uh, server and you've got enough uh, data transfer and all all the things all the features that you need to create a good you know uh, dynamic website shopping cart or anything as well as we've thrown uh, a few scripts in in the package as well right so I've given you an introduction before on the package that we offer but all you need to do is you need to type in the domain name of your choice and then just simply register it and uh, if if you send us an email or you send me an email uh, you probably have my email address because uh, I've put it up on YouTube as well as on Facebook and New Miss City and in so many other places so you you probably know what it is it's Ahmed Sami Higab at hotmail.co.uk which I'll write for you uh, as well so as you can see it tells you register you select the package that you you want and then you click on sign up now very simple isn't it okay so that that's pretty much if you if you want to go ahead and set up your own domain name and get maximum benefit from this course and actually go through it and develop your own site at the end yep go ahead register domain name and let's go okay but for those of you who are 
very tight 